Hi, Tony Sycamore here, Senior Market Analyst at IG in Australia. US stock markets gained on Friday, reassured by comforting PCE inflation data. After a shaky start to August, all three key indices ended a volatile month in positive territory. This week, the spotlight turns to Friday night's non-farm payrolls after last month's weak print led to a sharp sell-off in stocks. The release of stronger-than-expected economic data since then has allayed fears of a hard landing with many equity markets rebounding back towards previous highs. This month, the market anticipates the US economy to add 165,000 new jobs and for the unemployment rate to ease to 4.2%. Outcomes differing from that expectation could either reignite fears of a hard landing if softer than expected, or confirm the economy is on track for a soft landing. Let's take a look at the charts of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ to see where they are as we start this new week. In last week's video on the NASDAQ, we spoke about the idea that it was a little bit of a 50-50 proposition up here. It rebounded above 19,500, which was our target after holding the support area, uh, but failed to get above 20,000. And what we did say last week, if it was to break below 19,400, that would be an initial indication that we are seeing a missing leg lower of this correction. Now, My target for this missing leg lower is somewhere in this area here, could possibly overshoot down towards uh, 17,000. But at the very least, while the NASDAQ remains below this swing high here from uh, the 22nd of July, this 19,938 high, I think we need to give it the opportunity to trade down into this support region here, somewhere around 18,000 to 17,600 if we want to be conservative could extend a little bit further. But we do need to keep in mind, if the NASDAQ was to trade above this high here, then probably a pretty good chance that it invalidates the view for another leg lower and probably says that we are going to retest this high from the 10th of July. For the S&P 500, what I'm seeing here is uh, really in line with what we said last week, a little bit 50-50 here. There isn't the sell-off which we saw in the NASDAQ, which was courtesy of NVIDIA's earnings. It is consolidating below this high here from the 16th of July. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of different types of scenarios playing out. One could be a spike higher above this high back in this range here. Um, If it was to break below this support here at uh, at 55.50, then potentially we're going to follow what I thought might play out in the NASDAQ and get that missing third leg lower. If we were to break above this 56.69 high, and consolidate above here, then that would probably give the green light to 5,800. So a lot to watch for this week, but it is really going to come down to Friday night's non-farm payrolls. Thank you for listening and have a good week ahead. 